my sewing friends welcome to my sewing room my name is Beth and if you're new welcome last time I was sewing with you I made a very tiny quilt using one inch strips for my dollhouse and I wondered if I could use that same technique strips and flipping cutting and flipping to make another quilt my blocks are I think right here is one of the blocks this it would be the same as this with six strips, but it, look at the size difference between one inch and two and a half inches. So I'm gonna show you how I made this quilt. Let's get started. Here's that tiny quilt that I made in the last video for the dollhouse using those one inch strips and it came out super cute. I did wonder how it would be to use that same technique using two and a half inch strips. So I went to my stash and I pulled out this first fabric and that's going to kind of inspire my color choices as I choose fabric to cut my two and a half inch strips. I'm cutting my yardage, the width of fabric, two and a half inches, and for each block, I am cutting six strips. With those six strips, I was able to get about two and a half blocks. So I made two blocks and then I had some leftover strips, and I'll show you in a minute how I used those leftover pieces to make my blocks. Here is my first set of strips and I did not worry about the placement of my strips but in future blocks I did decide that having alternating the strips with the uh, light and dark fabrics made for a better quilt block. I pressed all of the seams in one direction so that when I cut these into strips, those seams will nestle together really nicely. I lined up that strip set on my cutting mat here and I'm going to be cutting my little strips in two and a half inch segments and after you cut a few quite frequently you do need to trim the edge for some reason it starts to um, uh, get off kilter there and so once in a while right here I'm going to cut that edge off and make it nice and straight I'm kind of using my cutting mat to line things up nice and straight. And just like that little mini quilt I made for my dollhouse, I flipped the strip sets so that they're going opposite directions and as you can see my outside squares are all light colored that's why I think in the future blocks I decided I would try to alternate darks and lights.
at this point in my um, quilt, I wasn't sure I really liked these colors together. Wasn't sure how this quilt was going to turn out. I will say when it was all done, I really liked all this mix of colors, um, but it took me making quite a few blocks to feel comfortable with how this was going to turn out. Here is a block using some of the leftover strip sets. Like I said, I was able to get two blocks from each set of six strips, and these are some of the leftovers. So I did mix them up, and once this was placed in the quilt, you could not really find it. it I think it worked out just fine to have this sort of scrappy block mixed in with the blocks that had more order to them. It was at this point when I realized I think I'm going to really like this quilt. I had three rows made and I need uh, four more quilt blocks and here they are. Here is my quilt top before I put it all together. I think this quilt top is really beautiful. It's about 47 inches square, and I'm glad I proceeded with those colors I wasn't too sure about because I think it's really beautiful. Thanks for joining me today, and I'll see you next time.